Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Casper Site. How the devil are you, mate? Today we go back in there, mate. Absolutely, with That Is Impossible. The channel, That Is Impossible. That Is Impossible. Okay? Make sure you go over to his channel, subscribe, and do the thing. Because this dude is almost on 1 million subscribers. Okay, this video is called These Scary Moments Will Make You Shiver in Fear. Let's hope it bloody does, mate. Anyway, without further ado, da diddly day. Let's do this. Now it's one thing to watch a scary situation such as this one through our television or our computer. Oh my god. Wow. Wow. But when we live through a situation such as this one, it's a completely different thing. I don't know about Bigfoot, mate. I don't know about Bigfoot. <laughs> Jesus. Hi, I'm James LaFleur, and you're watching the Impossible Hi, Channel. Welcome aboard. Now, it's one thing to sit down with friends or family and watch a scary video or a scary movie, and it's a completely different thing to actually live through something like this, such as extreme weather, an urban exploration gone wrong, a strange creature that you encounter all alone in the woods, and much more. Today we're going to be analyzing some of these situations amongst others. And don't forget to leave a like if you enjoy this video. Subscribe to the channel. Already done it, mate. Already done it. With notifications on. And, well, are you ready? Sit tight, because this is going to be a wild ride. Yeah! Let's go. Impossible. Extreme weather such as hurricanes or tornadoes are not that common in the region of South America. Wow, man, that looks like an oil pa that looks like an oil painting. Oh, Bro, what the f is that? I don't what that. the f is that? However, this last month, the weather was acting up in some regions in Brazil, and because of this, some places were seeing tornadoes and dust devils form out of nowhere. A dust devil forms when hot air at the surface begins to rise rapidly with much cooler air above it. The hot air then stretches and causes a spinning motion, much like a tornado. And usually this is what a dust devil looks like. Harmless, right? But something weighs. Yeah, it doesn't look harmless, mate. To be honest with you, it doesn't look harmless. Harm, harmless. Doesn't look harmless. This is fucking. Uh, let's get ready for the bloody mummy returns, mate. Let's go. Carrier and much bigger was captured on camera by a man who was working at a farm in Moro Agudo in Brazil. This Brazil. is what he saw. <laughs> This is the scene from the mummy. Wow! Don't just stop. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You better run, mate. You better, baby, run. At that moment, the man was all alone at a cornfield. It was just him and the. Is that a dinosaur? Did this, is this thing so strong? It ripped up a bloody dinosaur. Devil, and everything added up just fine. No one was injured. However, according to him. Things could have ended up much differently if he didn't feel the need of getting out of the truck and running as fast oh, as possible. Mate, yeah. According to meteorologists, a dust devil isn't supposed to be dangerous, but when it comes to this size, no one knows exactly how things are going to end up. The best one could do is find a good place to take shelter, and if possible, a place without windows. The thing is, in Brazil, people are not ready for this kind of situation. Have wow. you ever gone yourself through a tornado or something like this? What would you advise people to do in this kind of situation? Drop and roll, drop and roll. Now, India is wow. considered to be one of the most beautiful places to travel. From otherworldly landscapes to snow-capped Himalayas, there are... Oh, mate, look at that, Hey, Look at that. Look at that. Just imagine going on holiday and forgetting your camera. He'd be so pissed off, wouldn't you? Tons of places one could visit. The thing is... 
there is one small thing you should know about the Himalayas, and that's the fact that there's usually snow in these mountains, and when there's too much of it, it could result in dangerous and scary avalanches. On March 2019, in the village of Jispa in northern India, residents heard a loud boom coming from the top of the mountain when they looked up. Oh, bollocks! This is what they saw. Oh my god. Bloody earthquake, mate. It is gonna go hectic right now. That's coming quick. Run, get in that car and run! Pondering about what they should do and if it's going to hit the village, they are still looking at it. That's clearly gonna hit the village. Amazed by its sheer force and size. The truth is, they didn't think they would have to make a run for it. <gasps> this is what happens next. Oh god. <laughs> Yeah, 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 now we need to run! Oh! Man, that's going 100 miles an hour! Oh, wow. The cameraman's just sitting there like, yeah, this is beautiful, mate, this is gonna go bloody viral! Running in panic, residents didn't know exactly how to proceed. The best thing to do in these kind of situations is to go inside and hide as best as you can. You never know exactly how an avalanche is going to end up in this situation. However, the residents of Jispa were very lucky that day. The avalanche was stopped by a ridge just outside the village. I was going to say, because it looked like a mo most of it was just sort of like light mist, like a, like a, a snow mist just meters away from their homes. No one was injured and no house ended up buried. Everything was just fine, but it's not always that an avalanche ends up this way. Now, I don't know about you, but I've never been to the Philippines. It really looks as if a beautiful place to visit. Yeah, man. The thing is, it's the supposed Fili to be amazing in the Philippines. Philippines. There are many. Shout to Philippines, mate. I know like some of you subscribed, you bloody legend strange and mysterious stories of bizarre and mythical creatures. One of them is the Manananggal. Manananggal? And you saw it. And I saw it. An old mythical creature that separates from their lower part of the body and their fangs and wings give it a vampire-like appearance. Surely something that I would not like to encounter at what? night. What? In a video posted to YouTube by Romeo Candido, a group of friends seems to be having a good time late at night, when all of a sudden they feel that they're not all alone. This is what happens. Oh god. My eyes are going round everywhere, mate. What are we going to see? <laughs> what? Holy! <laughs> They see mate, if that's legit, man, what the hell is out there, mate? They see something that they don't like and they run for their lives. This viral video created quite a debate amongst people that say they saw such a creature in their area or province in the Philippines and others who say that this is a complete hoax. Judging by their reaction, it could be the real deal, but I'm not too sure. What's interesting about this video, however, is that it is late at night and they are making a lot of noise, drawing a lot of attention to whatever it is that's out there. Now, because the video quality- Oh, shit, mate. Yeah, 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 yeah. But he isn't that good. It's very it? hard to affirm if this is indeed a hoax or if it's something else. What do you think is going on here? Um, I need to pause it. I need to pause it. Oh, okay, okay. Mate, look at it. Look. Look at you. Huh? The video quality isn't that good. It's very hard to affirm if this is indeed a hoax or if it's something else. Mm. What do you think is going on here?
I don't know, mate. That now looks talking about proper dodgy. Unknown creatures. And imagine this following situation. You're at your house, you're having breakfast with your family, and all of a sudden you hear this bizarre howling noise. You go outside to check it out, and all of a sudden you hear this scream. It seems like it's coming from a horror movie, but it's right in front of you, coming from inside the woods. This is exactly what happened in December 2017 in Canada, and to this day, no one knows exactly what kind of creature this could be. But it's not a bear, and it's not anything like you've ever heard before. Check this out. Oh, mate, imagine camping in the forest at night and hearing that, mate. Holy moly. Motherfucker, I'm gone. I'm gone. What? This strange and scary howling noise has never been identified. But imagine walking there in the woods all alone and hearing something like this. Yeah. What would you do in such a situation? And what do you think could be making these sounds? F knows me. The about abandoned places has fostered urban exploration for centuries. But it was in the late 1970s in San Francisco that things actually really amped up and started becoming a trend. On YouTube, you'll find dozens if not hundreds of interesting urban exploration channels. The thing is, normally, nothing special happens during these explorations. However, when they do, it's something that really creeps out the viewer and the people exploring. And it's sort of what happened with the Proper People YouTube channel. If you haven't watched yet, the Proper, the proper people. people YouTube channel is one of the best and most intriguing out there. Brian and Michael do a very good job at exploring and they have a very unique form of presenting their content. And in one of their videos, they decided to explore an abandoned and decommissioned power plant. Wow! I have to say that things didn't go as planned. Oh, here we go. Here's how it all started. Wow, mate, would you go in there, man? That's dodgy as shit. Do we just start trying doors? Let's just start trying doors just randomly, mate. Balls of steel. Brian and Michael arrived at night. Or stupidity, one of the two. At this supposedly abandoned power plant. And they went from door to door trying to get inside without any success. But they didn't quit the mission. The next day, they went back and tried it again. This time, a bit different. So, we are back at the power plant that we attempted last night. Right now, we're just chilling in the car. This is a little too light out to go in just yet. We have some new intel about how to get in, but supposedly this way is quite difficult and not for the faint of heart. But it's probably worth it. You're gonna abseil down it, mate. He's gonna put the abseil down it. Probably worth it. I think we're clear. Yeah, the oh, door is open to the coin tower. I can see it. Brian and Michael make it into the cooling tower and everything is going smooth. It's when, however, they try to go into the main building that things start to go wrong. Let's get into the main building now. Now, Michael makes his way in into the main building through this very difficult and not for the faint of heart passageway. Brian decides to wait outside. Mate, I don't know if I could do that, man. No way. Straight up, that is dodgy. So that Michael can find a ground level door and open it for him. All of a sudden, Michael felt as if there was something wrong with this place and he started to hear strange noises. This is what happens next. Wow, 
Oh, he's freaking out. I can tell by his, his camera movement. What? What? All right. A security guard oh. catches Michael by surprise. He opens the door, he finds Michael inside, and tells him how things are gonna go down. He calls the police and leaves Michael and Brian with few options, one of them being running for their lives. And this is exactly what they do. Oh no! Man! Shit, that's what I thought! You can't be doing that! He's coming, run! Oh, is that... Is that the cop is after them? Okay, go. Run. He called the cops. And then they put this up on YouTube? <laughs> We're gonna hide out for a while in case he comes right down here. Do you want to be on this side of the fence, though? Calling you repeatedly. I kept getting air tone. Probably calling each other. I was like, there's someone. Ryan and Michael make it to the woods. I heard something then as well. But they're not safe yet. The police arrives and they start searching for them. Get the thermal cameras up there, mate. Get the helicopter, everything. It's Grand Theft Auto, this bitch. They have to wait out for another hour before they can get out of there, and in the end, they make it successfully home without any injuries, no problem, everything was good. However, if the police had caught them, they would have ended up in jail. Yeah. If you stop to think about it, one of the most mysterious and beautiful places on earth to visit are caves. And I completely understand that there are many people out there that are interested in caving and exploring such places. However, caves can be a dangerous place to explore. Many things like hypothermia, falling, flooding, falling rocks and physical exhaustion are some of the main risks. I think the, the, the caves are absolutely beautiful, mate. They really are. I would love to go like that bottom left hand corner one there, man. Looks epic. And there's one cave that's full of strange stories and tight spaces and that's Lost John's Cave in England. Lost John's Cave. Trifle jam. Oh, mate, no, you're not going to go down there. In 2014, that. a couple of men decided to go and explore some of these tight spaces. And for a moment, things were going just fine. Until they decided to explore a section of the cave called the Tube. This. Oh, no, they're going to get stuck, aren't they? They're going to get stuck. Is what happened. No, 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 no. Fuck that, mate. No way. No way would I be doing that. No. Are you sure it's the exit, mate? Are you bloody sure it's the exit? After hours inside the cave, the explorers decide to exit it through the tube, which is a very dangerous section. As you can see, it is a very tight space with running water, and this water can, at any moment, rise. This was sort of a bad idea, oh, no, and it no, didn't no, take no. long before they actually found out for themselves. Oh no, 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 no. Look at the name Bastard Squad. <laughs> Oh, fuck. Oh, no. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, sh The cave explorer is now stuck and can't seem to get out. 
The thing is, the water is about to start rising, and there's little that the others can do to help him. One of the things for a starter is to try oh to calm God. him down. However, in this kind of situation, it's very normal that the person starts to panic, and things can get worse. <laughs> Oh fucking hell man, I bet he's thinking to himself, I'm dead, I'm fucking dead mate, I'm bloody dead! He must quickly find a way to get him out of there before the water rises. Oh fuck, oh mate, he's panicking like shit now, he's panicking like shit. As you can see, the water is quickly rising and their time is running out. One of the explorers still left behind has the idea to pull him back from where they came. Yeah, push, go However, back. However, this would mean a three to four hour longer cave expedition towards the surface. But this is exactly what they do. And luckily for them, no one was injured and they made it just fine back to camp. If you were in this kind of situation, oh. would you go back to caving the next day? No effing way, mate. No way. Oh my God. But then you get some people. But then you get some people that like, like that would spur them on to do it again to try and to def defeat the cave, you know? Fucking mental. Or not. North of Los Angeles, there is a beautiful place called Chatsworth Park and there is a tunnel, which is a popular spot for urban photography, with many keen video makers heading there for footage. And in one bright day, Brian Garcia and his friends decided to explore inside of this tunnel to check- MAXIMUM SHORTS PLEASE! Get out. Are they shorts? What are they? You know what's gonna happen. I've seen loads of different types of videos of this. Like, this train's gonna come, they're gonna start running, mate. You can notice in the beginning of the video that most of them are unsure if they should be actually doing this. Yeah. They know that there's a chance that a train might come. And well, this is exactly what happens oh. when they're midway to the end of the tunnel. Although there's quite a big distance between the track and this, right? I mean, the train's going to be, I would say, here. This is what happened. Or is it? It could be, it could be <laughs> carrying shit in the back of it. Hey, train, train, train. Up your life. That poor bloke with a bloody stick, he's like, I've got a bloody walking stick, mate! Oh, run, 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 run. Oh, oh! Run, run! Holy shit! Oh. See what I'm saying? I mean, they would have had, they would have had, they would have had loads of room. Look, more room than I initially thought. Get over it, man, pussies! <laughs> He's not even out of the cave, look. Brian Garcia and his friends run for their lives and make it successfully out of the train tunnel. No one was injured, everyone was okay. However, this is not the type of thing you want to play with. No, now, to be fair, mate, was you should amongst internet users on Brian Garcia's channel whether the three should have stayed put or ran for the end of the tunnel, which is what they did. Yeah, because that train uh, is like from there, like, you know, I, they, they would uh, they just stay up there and lean against this wall. A YouTube subscriber named Dayan Singh suggested making use of the obvious clearance on both sides of the track, saying that all they had to do was stand there and lean back. However, another YouTube user said that this is not advised because you can get sucked in yeah. at the train unless you have something firm to hold on to. That's true, man. That is true. I didn't think about that. If you were in this situation, what would you have done differently? I probably would have ran, done the same thing. And then when it got close to me, and if I, I knew I couldn't get out of the tunnel, I would have then leant against the wall. 
like you know proper and and held all of my clothes tight around my body so none of the clothes get like sucked forward now i remember when i was younger i used to travel to the mountains with my family and we used to rent a small cabin nothing special used to happen we used to share stories during a bonfire at night and things like that as soon as i saw that little cup there I I, I I remembered this um I, I followed this person on TikTok. He's like this Canadian guy with the big moustache. He goes, "Hey there, buddy. Can't sleep. How about chilling out with me and playing some old computer games? Hey there, buddy. Look after yourself. If you know who I'm talking about, mate, right? Just, just leave a comment because he's fucking brilliant." However, if you look for, you'll find thousands of stories, strange stories of things that happen to people inside of cabins in the woods. It's not just a movie that's scary. It seems like lots happen to people in these kind of places. I wonder why. Now Camden Natoli posted a video to YouTube a couple of years ago of a strange experience, a scary experience that he shared with his girlfriend inside of a cabin that he used to rent with his uncle. This is how it all started. I'd be amazing to stay in that cabin. February 9th, 2019, and I'm here with my fiance, and there's been this. Come on, baby. There's been this, like. No, no, stay there, stay there. Don't come over here. I, I don't know what the f is. There's been this thing. I don't know. Do you hear that? There's been this, someone or something is outside and they've been Oh no. <laughs> they've been f***ing with us. <laughs> they've been f***ing with us for weeks now. We're renting this cabin out from one of our family friends, my uncle. What the f*** is that? Oh mate. Just go out there and rambo it! It's been making noise for weeks now. Oh Christ! There's another house down there, but I don't, I don't like this. Something seems to be bothering Camden and his girlfriend. It seems like there's something outside making strange noise and they can't seem to find out exactly what. The thing is, at first Camden believes- He's got a bloody gun there, mate! Rambo it! Is it something or someone? However, if you watch the rest of the video, probably neither one of those. This is what happens next. It's an animal? Did it just knock? Are they like young as well, right? They look really young and scared. I think I shut the lights off. I have to go out there. I, I love you. Shut the door and lock. That's, mate, that sounds straight from a bloody horror. I gotta go out there. I love you, baby. Okay, as soon as I go out here, okay? I love you. <laughs> this could be the last time we see each other, baby! Don't lock it, please. I'm scared. Hello? This. <laughs> In a brave move, Camden goes outside with his flashlight to check out <laughs> what is going on. He Fair finds nothing, to. however, he feels chills running down his body and he goes back inside as fast as possible. This is when I noticed something really strange happens inside the cabin. A noise can be heard once again, but this time it's not coming from a human being or anything like that. Check this out. <laughs> oh, oh shit. Go away. 
something's Leave me alone! What do you want from us? Seems to be creeping behind his cabin and all of a sudden you can hear what appears to be an animal howling very loud. It's very difficult to affirm, however, which kind of animal this is. Nevertheless, Camden and his girlfriend had enough of this situation. They call the police and they leave the cabin and go home. No one knows exactly how the situation ended, but it is scary as hell. And they say that for three bloody weeks? <laughs> now, some people believe that it could be someone pranking them good, or it could be something else. Something such as a dogman, which is a mythical creature that some believe to be real, but to this day there is very little evidence of its existence. Oh, la verga. <laughs> what the hell was that? In your opinion, what is going on here and what would you have done in this situation? Ramboed it. <laughs> Well, this is it for now, but we do have more videos. Don't forget to leave a like if you enjoy this one. Subscribe. That is impossible, mate. Subscribe to the channel with notifications, and I'll see you guys again. Yes, sir. There you go, mate. Another one of That Is Impossible channel. Absolutely bloody brilliant, mate. Love reacting to these, man. They're, they're just a nice little change. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. If you liked the video, please leave a little like, mate. And if you're new to the channel, how about subscribing? And I'll love you forever. I'll see you on the next one, all right? Take care. Bye-bye.